result in the uh, that have impacted our dispatches in the quarter one. Now, oh, starting from the clinical production, during the quarter ended June 2021, we have produced 4.31 lakh ton of clinical as against 3.31 lakh ton same quarter last year. So far as cement production is concerned, we have produced 7.72 lakh ton this quarter as against 4.16 ton lakh ton same quarter last year. This quarter we have taken shutdown in our main clinker unit, that is why clinker production is lower. Now I will take you through third volume. During the quarter we have sold 7.60 lakh ton of cement and negligible quantity of clinker as against 4.47 lakh ton of cement and 0.02 lakh ton of clinker same quarter last year. This is as far as cement and clinker scale is concerned. As far as geographical distribution is, of cement is concerned, in Northeast we, North we have sold around 6.03 lakh ton as against 3.43 lakh ton uh, during the same quarter last year. And as far as outside Northeast is concerned, we have sold 1.58 lakh ton of cement this quarter as against 1.04 lakh ton same quarter last year. In terms of blend mix, it is almost 8% of OPC and rest is PPC. These are the quantitative numbers of the quarter. Now I will take you through the, to the financial. The total revenue figure this quarter is around the 511 crore as against 292 crore, same period last year. As far as EBITDA figure is concerned, this quarter we have done an EBITDA of around 101 crore as against 71 crore last year. That is rupees 68 crore as against 43 crore in the same period last year. On the per ton EBITDA front, it is 1330 during this quarter as against 1586 per ton same quarter last year. This is what our quarterly number till first quarter. Now I request all of you that if you have any queries, you can ask the same and I will request the to moderate the query wherever it requires. Thank you. So, over to you, Arnold. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now begin with the question and answer session. Anyone wishing to ask a question may please press star in one on your touchstone telephone. If you wish to remove yourself from the question queue, you may press star and two. Participants are requested to use handsets while asking a question. Ladies and gentlemen, we will wait for a moment while the question queue assembles. The first question is from the line of Shravan Shah from Dollar Capital Markets. Please go ahead. Uh, yeah, thank you, sir. Uh, sir, first of all, uh, on the Siliguri plant, last time we said that uh, uh, due to some issues, uh, we were able to only produce 0 0.1 million ton of uh, 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 cement. So now is the situation, uh, how much we are producing in this quarter? And, and also the July August are uh, at it is working. No, I think uh, this quarter we have produced around 1 lakh uh, 59 thousand tons of cement uh, from Siliguri. Uh, as you are aware that uh, uh, these are largely the start of, uh, we could only get uh, two months time, right? I think after that we have started shaking rain there in uh, North Bengal. So, uh, uh, and the capacity utilization as of now is around 30, uh, 35%. But we hope that we are going to ramp up this capacity utilization in, in coming quarters uh, uh, as we go along. Uh, because uh, uh, we are still looking at a very robust demand as far as uh, North Bengal and the East Bihar is concerned, which are our primary markets. Okay. So, so broadly, last time we were looking at a double. Uh, uh, whatever you wanted to highlight. Post, uh, sorry uh, to interrupt, uh, Mr. Shah. Sir, your voice is breaking up. We are not able to hear you clearly. Is it fine now? Sir, can you use the handset mode while speaking? Yeah, I am using handset mode. Is it fine? Uh, sir, please proceed. Yeah, sir. Uh, uh, I was saying that uh, post June in July and August, in terms of the demand, how it is, and previously we were uh, looking at a double digit volume. So, is there any any uptake in terms of the uh, guidance on the volume front and also on the pricing. So how is the pricing post the June? So in July and August, how much decline we have seen in East and Northeast? Uh, so uh, whatever uh, you can explain, uh, that would be helpful. So uh, uh, I think we've asked uh, uh, Mr. Shah to ask all the questions in one question, right? So let me just take you through demand first. 
uh, uh, so in northeast uh, demand is i will say still remain robust uh, we have seen last year the market has still grown at around 6% Uh, we hope to uh, see the same kind of demand. Maybe probably a little bit better than the last year. They are expecting around 8% overall cement demand growth in Northeast. The East market has grown at around uh, uh, 4% uh, last year. We hope to see at least a 6% uh, overall uh, cement demand growth in the East, where in the area where we operate. Uh, so that is what our overall expectation is. Uh, as far as the price is concerned. Uh, 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 there is a small decline uh, in prices in northeast uh, and uh, i'll say that the prices have gone down by somewhere around uh, 3 to 4% there is a decline of around 10 to 15 rupees a barrel uh, outside northeast the prices have uh, if i compare them uh, the prices of in the month of may and then june and july and today prevailing prices are at least uh, uh, down by around 25 rupees Uh, but uh, these are nothing unusual. I still feel that uh, by the end of there will will be a continue to seeing some kind of pressure on the prices. But uh, I think by come uh, September we will see the the decline to to arrest, and slowly we'll look forward in quarter three. Uh, there will be an upward momentum in the prices. That's what the expectation we are having. Is it clear, uh, Mr. Shah? Are you done with your question? Ah, uh, sir, I was saying that just a clarification. Ah, uh, yeah, the twenty-five rupees decline. What we are talking, it is from the June exit or average of first quarter. No, it is from the. Uh, I will say the peak of uh, what we have seen in the month of May, uh, or early part of. The from the peak, it has come down by twenty-five rupees. It's not the average of first quarter. Okay. 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 Okay, that's it from my side. Thank you. Thank you. A reminder to the participants: anyone wishing to ask a question, may please press star in one. The next question is from the line of Mangesh Bhadang from Nirmal Bank. Please go ahead. Hello, sir. Um, so uh, my question is uh, regarding volumes. Uh, so last couple of quarters we faced some hurdles because of uh, that connectivity issues and bridge that was under repairs. So what is the status on that? And second is uh, we've been hearing uh, about some political situation developing in Assam and Meghalaya, and I'm hearing some curfews also imposed there. So is there any impact of that situation on our production and dispatches? Uh, so I think the overall. Uh... Uh, as you asked for about uh, two bridges, I think that uh, problem has been resolved. As I, I think, must have mentioned in my last call also that uh, the one bridge which was under repair, uh, there's a new bridge which has already been constructed by the Border Road Organisation. So uh, the movement is not uh, is uh, as uh, as usual and as normal. Uh, so no load restrictions now, no? No, as of now there are no load restrictions, and we are freely being able to move whatever load we want. Uh, as far as the recent development in few northeastern state, like there is some problem with, between Assam and Mizoram, uh, the small clashes has happened, and there is a curfew in Assam and, and Shillong uh, from last two days after the post independence. I think these are sporadic incidences which keeps on happening. Uh, I don't think that has. Uh, I think the, the curfew is only in the containment uh, area of Shillong. It is no. There is no. Uh, state wise curfew as far as Meghalaya is concerned and there is no impact as far as the movement of goods is concerned right uh, because most of the goods actually go bypassing the Shillong uh, uh, city they are all in highway so it does not impact uh, the movement of goods uh, so these are i think a sporadic incentive and uh, in a, over a period of time we will definitely be able to come through all this so then uh, uh, what was the reason for very low volumes from uh, the new unit cgd unit uh, have you restocked there there so that in future if there is any problem we can still continue production there or you are just basically uh, you know basically you don't want to flood the market very soon and that's why uh, the ramp up is very slow in that uh, segment No, as, as you understand that the Siliguri is, is a unit which we have just started. I think uh, the ramp up is going to happen uh, because as we started the commercial operation, we entered into a lean season. 
Uh, but definitely the ramp up is going to happen and we'll see a uh, uh, good amount of ramp up happening in quarter 2, quarter 3 and uh, 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 head on onwards. So uh, that, that is nothing to yeah, definitely last year there was some impact of uh, uh, production got impacted because of the flow of clicker from the mother plant. Uh, but I don't think that uh, a, 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 any of those situations are prevailing at this point of time. So hopefully, Shilibudi uh, ramp up will, will take place in, in coming two, three quarters. Uh, and so lastly, if you can um, share uh, what has been your uh, coal prices uh, in this quarter compared to last quarter? Uh, so the coal prices uh, have been somewhere around, say, we have, uh, as I said, there is no, uh, the, the prices are almost same. There's nothing because we are largely dependent on eastern coal fields. So we are taking coal from eastern coal fields. Uh, there has been supply disruptions uh, uh, because of excessive rain taking place in uh, Bengal and uh, uh, some part of Jharkhand and all. So uh, there are uh, so supply has, uh, but we have uh, uh, taken uh, uh, lot of coal in uh, in uh, beforehand only before the so, uh, through the auctions. And that is why we have been able to maintain the prices. We had good amount of coal stocks also to uh, carry over the entire lean season. Uh, so we are not facing any coal issues at this point of time. But yes, the prices of coal and, and the other international market and the imported coal has actually gone up. But for us, they still remain to in the range of 8,000 rupees a ton. Uh, that's the landed price, right? That's the landed price, correct. And per KCAL, sir, it would be in excess of 2. 3 then? Uh, no, come again. You s On a per KCAL basis, rupees per KCAL basis, because it's a domestic coal, it will be in excess of 2.2, uh, 2.3, uh, 2 .2, 2 right? No, landed cost. Around, so the landed cost of bulk, uh, uh, so we call it a per GCB cost, right? So, uh, uh, so, so GCB of this coal will be somewhere around 5,000, 5,000, 500. So it will be somewhere around 1.5. 1, 1. Okay, 5,000 pounds. Okay, fine. Uh, okay, so that's it from my side. I'll just give you if I am. Thank you. A reminder to the participants, anyone wishing to ask a question, may please press star in one. The next question is in the line of Milan Suresh Raginwar from Centrum. Please go ahead. Thank you, sir, uh, for this opportunity. Sir, uh, I just missed out on uh, the number of uh, what we have sold in the Eastern market on the point seven six. Can you please? I just uh, can I get that number, please? Now the total sale uh, in the entire uh, the quarter total volume has been seven point six lakh tons, mm -hmm. and uh, northeast volumes are uh, six lakh three thousand tons. And outside North East, the volumes are 1,58,000 tons. 158. And is it safe to assume that all this is gone from uh, Siliguri? Yeah, as I said, right? So the total production is an absolutely 100%. If you look at the Siliguri production, also it is somewhere around 159. Okay. Okay. So what would be the corresponding number for the March quarter? If you can please share that. That is March uh, 21 quarter. Uh, the corresponding number for quarter of four, you want to know, right? Sorry, quarter of four, cement sale. Are you on cement sale? Nine point zero six lakh. Yes. No, I'm on the share of uh, uh, the the. Northeast. Northeast is a, it was it was it was uh, four hundred seven point four six lakh. Seven point four six. Yeah. Okay, and the remaining is uh, coming from eastern side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. And again, uh, it is safe to assume that all came from Siliguri. Uh, no, that time because Siliguri will be started in January, so mix of both Siliguri as well as our northeast plant. Okay, okay. Understood, understood. Right. And uh, sir, in terms of the coal prices that you have shared uh, of about 8,000 rupees per ton in the previous question, this is the average price of 1QFY22, right? 
Yes, I know, I'm saying the quarter one, the prices have been somewhere around 8,000 rupees. And uh, we hope that uh, to continue with the similar prices, yes, uh, definitely we haven't uh, taken uh, the entire requirement. So uh, eventually, once the auction starts, I think at this point of time, the coal India is not uh, uh, inviting any fresh auctions. So I think as soon as the auction starts, definitely the price will tend to go up because uh, looking at the international prices, the way the coal is behaving, uh, definitely, there will be an upward uh, uh, pressure on coal prices. Okay. Okay. So, any any uh, any color on what would be the prices in this like the other spot prices, the current prices? No. That because, uh, the, uh, the coal India has not offered any uh, auction, and uh, they have not declared any spot prices at, in last one month. So, uh, it will be hard to say what what prices the coal India fixes for the spot auction. Uh, and we are also eagerly waiting for the same. Okay. And what would be our mix, sir, in terms of auction coal and uh, other uh, other procurement? So we are completely dependent on auction. So we are taking 100% of our requirement is coming from auctions. And what would be our inventory then? Because if, if it's mm, there is no auction in one month, then uh, uh, what would be our inventory and up to what level can we... So we will have at least this quarter, but at least uh, the inventory in the plant and uh, the option bits which we have already won, uh, that will account for at least uh, uh, quarter two's entire requirement of quarter two. Okay. And uh, sir, what would be the uh, the, the maintenance uh, shutdown that we have taken? Can you please share the uh, the uh, the number in the other expenses that that is that is going in for maintenance shutdown? No, you want the other expenses detailed? Uh, Milin, what do you want? Break up. Uh, how much is the repair maintenance cost in the other expense? Yes, yes. Yeah, it is around 15.42 crore total repair maintenance. Okay, 15.4. Right. Yes. You must note this, Milin, that uh, this year we have taken a shutdown in the month of April itself because uh, of the lockdowns which have taken place and we have taken the shutdown, right? Normally we take shutdown in quarter two, right? So this right. is one of for this particular quarter, which has actually it has got peak on. Uh, uh, so uh, uh, that's an additional cost which is appearing in this quarter. Correct. Understood. Understood. Uh, 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 Right, sir. Uh, and um, lastly, what would be the uh, the the uh, status of our Namshong uh, 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 expansion that we are planning for, sir? The clinker expansion. Uh, so clinker expansion, we have made uh, uh, already the application for environment clearance. Uh, that application has already been filed, and uh, we are talking to various uh, equipment suppliers parallelly. And as soon as we get the environment clearance uh, and finalize this uh, 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 technology roadmap and uh, talking to the suppliers, once we get the environment clearance, we go ahead with uh, 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 giving orders to the sub vendors. Uh, so that is the status as far as the clinker unit is concerned. WHR plant progress is continuing as per schedule. Uh, and uh, we hope that. Uh, uh, as we said initially, that in 15 uh, to 18 months' time, we'll definitely be able to complete that plan, and that is on track to achieve that. And, uh, right, sir, right. Uh, sir, my last question. Uh, okay, I, I'll come back in the queue. I think I have gone that answer. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. A reminder to the participants anyone wishing to ask a question? May please press star in one. The next question is in the line of Lohit Bharambe from Canada Bank Securities Limited. Please go ahead. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, my question would be like, uh, can you just give me freight and for forwarding expense and power fuel expense for the particular quarter? Yeah. I'll just ask one of uh, it is a power and fuel cost is 80, 84 crore mm -hmm. and carry out value 86.58 crore. 86.5? Yes, 86.6 okay. you can write this. Okay, okay. Uh, and corresponding quarter, sir? 
responding for that you have one with q1 na q121 q1 yeah q1 is what yeah 55 uh, carry out was 55.45 55.5 crore mm-hmm. and power input to 50.7 okay okay so and the second question would be like uh, as we are uh, we are selling from eastern uh, eastern uh, to from our uh, siliguri plant so how we, we are up, we are approaching to cost efficiency as we are earlier uh, uh, selling through our northeastern capacity no see north east uh, uh, the whole purpose of setting up siliguri plant was that we wanted to be near to the market and uh, uh, get the benefit of lower freight cost on the raw materials right so we used to take all the flies from uh, siliguri kelgaon and all these places in uh, west bengal and bihar and then get it, uh, take it to siliguri uh, guwahati grind it uh, at the grinding plant in guwahati and then bring that to Uh, uh bengal east uh, west and uh, north bengal and the east we are part of it right so uh, as of now the clinker is already coming from meghalaya uh, and it, and the flyer is only been hauled up to siliguri it is getting uh, converted into cement there and then the, it is cut into the market so uh, definitely we are having we will be having savings uh, in respect of uh, transportation of uh, the basic raw materials like flyers okay okay thank you thank you the next question is from the line of pratik kumar from antique stock broking please go ahead hello you yeah, are thanks for the opportunity sir my question is on uh, your this printer uh, expansion in meghale uh so this uh, uh, do we expect this to commission i mean based on uh, some outlook on environmental clearance uh, would this get rolled out in fy24 or can it spill over to fy25 it's a thing so we were trying to uh, do it in fy24 that's what is going to be the objective but it all depends on how do we how early we get this environment clearance out of our way so that that is more important so as at the internally we will be definitely taking uh, a target for effort 24 but it uh, it's very difficult to predict a timeline before we get that clearance uh, and meanwhile uh, i think uh, uh, competition like uh, dalmia bharat has ex- announced some expansion in north east have the other players also announced some expansion like besides like like we are like looking to do another company has done it So I don't think uh, uh, any other plant has, uh, any other company has, has announced any expansion in Northeast, uh, and uh, uh, and I'm really not aware of even Dalmia has announced any expansion in Northeast or not. Uh, but yes, definitely uh, we are going ahead with our plans. Uh, and sir, regarding this other expense, uh, which is uh, a non-power and fuel and freight uh, other expense. Uh, so that number looks uh, again elevated uh, to at 75 crores during the quarter so is this related to this 15 crore maintenance and that's why next quarter we will have like only 30 crore or other expense so definitely it looks elevated on two three accounts one account is definitely uh, uh, related to um, as i said the maintenance cost ratio uh, the other account marketing and also uh, will be there will be some because uh, there are certain expenditure which has uh, the political donations have happened because of the uh, elections in assam and uh, bengal right there are two states which have gone in election in the month of april and may right so that is having an impact in this quarter um marketing last year but, uh, the, again the last year april may was largely was out because of the covid situations this year april was not that bad correct so Uh, there was an advertisement expenditure which has, we have launched a new campaign going to the new plant in uh, siliguri right so we have taken akshay kumar as a brand ambassador and launched a new campaign uh, so part of the branding expenditure will also come in this quarter so i think that uh, other expenses which you are seeing is the combination of all three uh, bullet points uh, so this political funding had an impact of 9 10 crore in OQ and and similar in this quarter as well. Yeah, it is around five five to six crore in this quarter in particular. 
five to six. Five to six. Uh, and sir, just last question on uh, premium segment uh, mix. Uh, how has the premium segment like stayed put in like during the second wave? Uh, how, how is that mix now? So I think I will say that the premium segment is still in the very nascent stage of the development, right? So we have just started this uh, uh, journey. So it will take time. <laughs> we are actually in a position to quote uh, uh, as a percentage of the total sales, right? So. Uh, we are developing that market. We are really hopeful about this uh, segment picking up in new markets like Bengal and Bihar, and we are seeing early signs of it. But I don't think that uh, it will be right on my part to uh, put any number to it at this juncture. Uh, we are sensitizing the market and getting into the uh, uh, the product is well accepted in in the market where it has already been launched. Uh, so hopefully, going forward in coming quarters, we will be able to uh, tell you about. What percentage of sales it's, it is contributing? It is, at this point of time, it is pretty insignificant. Uh, thanks, sir. I'll get back to the case. Thank you. The next question is on the line of Uttam Kumar Srimal from Access Securities Limited. Please go ahead. Hello, good afternoon, sir. Uh, Uttam, this side. Uh, sir, can you give the capex guidance for this year and the next year? Hello. Come again. Capex, uh, sir. Uh, sir. Your voice is sounding very muffled. Okay. Uh, is it right now? Uh, sir, no, sir. Can you speak a little far away from the handset? Yeah, just hold on. Is it right? Am I audible now? Much better. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, sir, can you give the CAPEX guidance uh, for this year and the next year? CAPEX guidance, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. CAPEX guidance. Yeah. So I think, see, that, uh, uh, the, uh, what we are looking at is that WHR is the source of CAPEX we are going to come in this year. So it is um, approximately 125 crore, uh, uh, which is uh, that is going to come in this year. And uh, in other traffic, uh, we only expect uh, to be around anything between 100 to 150 crores for the clinker project as soon as uh, in this particular year. The overall project cost will be uh, uh, definitely much, much higher than. Uh, so, looking at uh, the grinding plant, uh, the clinker plant, and uh, uh, this is somewhere around. 1300 uh, crores kind of uh, uh, capex, which is going to be overall capex. Uh, but this year, uh, 125 crore and 150 around 275 crore of overall capex we are looking at to spend in this year. Okay, okay. And sir, what has been our trade mix uh, during this quarter? So the trade, non trade uh, has been, uh, will be somewhere around 86% is. Uh, trade around 87% and 13% in non trade. And the uh, blended ratio uh, this quarter? Uh, the blending ratio, see, we are 90, around 92% is OPC, uh, PPC and balance 8% is OPC. And the last one, uh, can you just give a uh, 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 lead distance during the quarter? Uh, so, what you are, uh, please repeat, uh, sir, uh, lead distance during the quarter. So I don't think there is hardly any change in the lead distance, somewhere around 300 and uh, uh, anything between 300 and 325 kilometers will be the distance. I don't have exact number in front of me. Okay, 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 okay. That's all. Yeah, that's all for my time. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Before we take the next question, we would like to remind participants that you may press star and want to ask a question. Please note that this is a final reminder and there will be no reminders after this. <coughs> the next question is from the line of Hatin Boricha from Joinder Capital. Please go ahead. Hi, sir. Thanks for the opportunity. Am I audible? Hello? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So my first question is on April shutdown. You mentioned a plant was shut down for maintenance in April. So can you quantify for how much days it was shut down? Yeah, it was shut down for around 25 days. 
25 days. Okay, okay. And my next question is on WHRS plant, which uh, which is going to, like by what time it is going to commission in FY23, and what are the savings we are expecting from this plant? Lovely. It is a it is a uh, uh, thirteen megawatt plant, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, we are expecting. Uh, so you can look at it. It's, it's overall uh, my requirement of the power is somewhere around 27 megawatt, and 13 megawatt is going to be substituted. So it's around 40, 45 percent of my overall requirement, and uh, we are expecting to save uh, somewhere around say 150 rupees a ton um, on this. And maybe initially we'll say around maybe a little lesser, but definitely anything between 150 to 200 is a ton. Uh, we are going to save on this. Okay, and it is going to come by end of FY23, right? Uh, no, so the, uh, so as I said, that we started the uh, uh, groundwork and activities in the month of uh, uh, June only, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, and I think that excavation and everything is going on pretty smoothly. And from mm -hmm. June, we uh, we are looking at around anything between 15 to 18 months to start it. By end of FY, uh, I think FY23, uh, mm -hmm. definitely we will start somewhere in the second quarter or third quarter. Okay, okay. And sir, sir, final book bookkeeping question is: What is the current cash and gross debt in the book? I'll ask one of three slides. It is uh, around the net, net cash position is around 670 crore or crore. 670 crore net cash. And sir, gross debt? If you create net cash, you're talking about then it is around 520 crore cash balance. Plus, we have the idle DP drawing power limit, so that we consider the net, net general, it is around 670 crore. But net cash, you can say around 5 to 120, 25 crore. Okay. My cash is 125. Okay, okay. That's it from my side. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we will take the last question. That is on the line of Shravan Shah from Dollar Capital Markets. Please go ahead. Um, sir, just a uh, clarification. You said uh, 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 net cash is 520. Uh, 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 can you repeat the both the number gross debt uh, uh, and the uh, gross cash and net cash? There will be hardly any debt because if you can say it is around 20, 25 crore, 23 crore is that debt around 30 June. Okay. So if you can add it, then gross 522 plus 25. Ladies and gentlemen, the lines of the management has got disconnected. Please stay connected while we reconnect the management. आपण ज्या व्यक्ती सोबत बोलत आहात त्या व्यक्तीने आपला कॉल होल्डवर ठेवला आहे कृपया लाईनवर रहा जपस Patiently holding. We now have the lines of the management reconnected. Over to you, sir. Uh, uh, sir, Shravan here. Uh, just uh, 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 I did not able to uh, hear clearly. So the 490 crore gross cash and 14 odd crore, 15 crore uh, 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 gross debt, including the uh, working capital, uh, which was there at the March. So what are the numbers as on June? So June number was there. Around 546 crore is the net cash. And 23 crore is the debt. So you are asking the net cash is the 523 crore. Okay, okay, got it, got it. So I, I, I got confused. Uh, 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 no issues uh, 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 understood. 
and sir uh, uh, on 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 the uh, uh, clinker expansion uh, last time we were talking that uh, ground breaking ceremony uh, uh, would be happening in next two quarters so there uh, uh, any any update on or it is just uh, we are waiting for the environmental claim so uh, any 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 timeline on that aspect i don't think that we can do any ground ground breaking before we get the environmental claim so yes yeah, we will wait for the environmental claim to arrive and then only we will start the ground but uh, there also uh, are difficult to say at least two three quarters it can come uh, uh, any any broad timeline See, largely it is it is it takes six to nine months time in terms of getting the final clearance from the environment covid through the right but it all depends on how how it goes but we are hopeful to get this in two three quarters okay 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 that's it thank you all the best thank you Ladies and gentlemen, that was the last question. I now hand the conference over to Mr. Vibhav Agarwal for his closing comments. Yeah, thank you. On behalf of Philip Capital India Private Limited, I'd like to thank the panel staff for for the call, and many thanks to the partner for joining the call. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Uh, Lizani, we now conclude the call. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Philip Capital India Private Limited, that concludes this conference call. We thank you for joining us, and you may now disconnect your lines. Thank you.